We have a lot of cool stuff planned for season three. Being proud of who you are no matter what you do. You definitely see the characters progress a lot more. They start growing up. And I think Ginger and Darren are endgame. It is a masterpiece of an episode. Oh, it's the cattiest moment in the history of television. Trust me, everybody has been excited for our thoughts on it. Who's the girl in the pink capri? It's Courtney! It's Courtney! Someone once told me the grass is much greener on the other side. Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of We're In Between, the podcast that discusses about every single episode of As Told by Ginger once a week. Uh, this week we have another bonus podcast for you guys. Um, we have another storyboard artist that we got a hold of. Uh, he has worked on various episodes such as Gym Class Confidential and And She Was Gone. We have Alan Zegler, so welcome Alan. Hey, thanks a lot. So, um, how did you first get involved with Klasky Chupo? Um... I think it was my agent. Um, I was let go from Warner Brothers, and I went to Disney. And then after Disney, I think um, I uh, I got a thing from my agent saying go to go to uh, Classic Chupo, and the, you work on as told by Ginger. And uh, the very first episode that you worked on was Jim Class Confidential, correct? Um, I, I no, it was another show, um, another half, another half hour, and I don't remember which one it was, but one of the gym, gym class confidential was uh, one of the first ones I worked on. Yes. So, when working on that episode, um, what were some of the elements that you brought into that episode that would carry on through? Um, with your storyboarding because we've interviewed a lot of the storyboard artists uh, with the storyboard artist reunion podcast and a lot of them would talk about how they would do like little drawings or little effects and that would be carried over into the episode so what would you add in what what kind of things were did you add into the episode that you drew for that would put, put be put into the series um yeah there was there was drawings and stuff that we did and um but usually, I think um, I think I did mine on the uh, board pages they gave us, and I, I did a lot, a lot of it. I kind of and I kind of come out and I um, piece the ones ones I liked in there, and um, but I, I can't I can't say that there was um, a lot of extra, extra drawings I did because um, all I did was the. And to concentrate on the characters and what they look like, you know? Because I, I, had I hadn't drawn those kind of characters before. Right, it makes a lot of sense. So, um, with you working on Klasky Chupo and the fact that um, you had worked on other uh, companies such as Warner Brothers and Disney where they have, like, really distinct art styles, uh, jumping over to something like Klasky Chupo would have been a much more different approach to drawing. Yeah, um... Each each show I handled exactly how uh, each studio wanted it to be, and Klaus Chupo was a, was a fun uh, fun place to work at because um, I think it, I did my, I think my best stuff was at Klaus Klaus Chupo, and uh, it was especially in Jim Klaus Confidential. Yes, Jim Claus Confidential was uh, a great episode. Uh, we had Mark Risley as a special guest uh, on the podcast, and he praised your work for And She Was Gone, the, um, the way that you drew the intro, the outro, and the scenes with the, the dream girl. Yeah, yeah. It was all... It was, um, I think I had the most fun in the last sequence of the, of the, as um, She Was Gone. And she was, and we we um, woke up on the uh, little girl walking in the streets of the town, and and Ginger was going on about her stuff, but we just see it as um, I tried to get really fancy with it and do a bunch of camera takes and stuff, but 
Um, for some reason, I, I, was, I was gone from the from that studio because I wasn't was there to um, show the um, show the guy on my my um, my um, my the things were were for, for the storyboard for the for the animatic, you know, because um, because if you, if, you, if you see that on the um, the um, the, um, she was gone for the um, for the um, we did the one that we where we shot, they shot all our boards like, and if you if you saw that one at the at the end of it, you tell you tell where you messed up on a lot of things because um I was trying to get really artsy farty and uh, uh, but still I try all these buildings did they had to go had to go in and out of um. Because at first I put the one side of the street, then I put the there's little girl, and I put the other side of the street where she was walking in, inside the inside and out the windows. And um, but they, yeah, they got that one right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, um, one of the things that uh, one of the scenes that uh, Mark was talking about was when uh, the was the, with the dream sequence with the girl. And uh, she's walking around in the puppet strings, and she's in the mountain with all the letters in it, and yeah. how some of the letters are actually names of a lot of the people yeah. who worked on the show, yeah. like Emily and, and stuff. Yeah, um, um, it was no part. Of, it was no part on my part on um, printing the letters there. Um, I was just put up put up letters on where I thought letters should go. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's it was. The- uh, Either their part, because um, if you look at Animatic, um, I think it got a couple of letters. They got put a couple of letters in there, and uh, Ginger put a big G in there. Yes. But um, but it was all up to the background guys what what letters they put in there. Okay, that's fair enough. So uh, yeah, um, when um, so what was I gonna say? Yeah, um, I think that for the most part, um. You, uh, now knowing this uh, about all the work that you put into um, episodes like that, and then hearing about the episodes that were nominated for Emmys, how how did that make you feel? Knowing that the you know some of the work that you were responsible for was being praised by um, the same grounds as something like The Simpsons and Futurama and the and a whole bunch of other cartoons at the time. Yeah, uh, I had won two Emmys for uh, Animaniacs too. Oh, that's great. Yeah, and um, so it was wasn't a big deal for me, but it was a big deal for that most most people on the show because uh, I don't think I don't know I, I don't know, I don't know if they've been nominated for an Emmy, but um, yeah, they have been nominated, but they haven't won for an Emmy. Oh, okay, and I don't know if because um, when I well I went down there for one New York to um, get my Emmy, and I actually had one. They actually gave me one, and um, and the second one was for. The second year, and that I actually have it. So I have two Emmys. Oh, that's good. That's good. So uh, speaking of, you know, somebody who's who used to work on Animaniacs, I'm curious. Um, what do you think of the revival that's coming out this year? Yeah, um, uh, I've, ca- I've called around, and um, and so far they said they had to get a they get they had to get a producer for it. Oh, okay. And they had got a producer for it, so. Um, again, uh, everyone's up in there because um, we don't know if they're going to if they're going to hire the same writers and uh, and therefore hire some of the staff back, or there's this, or are they just going to scratch it and hire everybody from you know, new guys? You know? Yeah, yeah. It's still fairly new, so we don't know what's going to be happening. But yeah, it yeah. should be interesting on what the final outcome is. Yeah, uh, and. Um, I don't know if you saw it, but in Facebook they had um, some guy on it, and he actually did did a lot of a lot of pink pink in the brain and and and, and, uh, and uh, Slap and Squirrel. Oh, and um, they did a really um, Dave Dave something mm. uh, some some uh, some uh, Latin guy, and no, anyhow. Um, it did it fairly well, but they still it still look uh, a little um, cartoony, you know, cartoony. But um, 
a little bit less uh, realistic than the first ones, you know? Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I take it that um, they're thinking about maybe going into a different direction, but um, as right now, uh, it's still in the early stages, so um, who knows what's going to be to come. So I'm actually yeah. really interested to finding out. Um, so, yeah, I think that we can read off the listener comments. Um, we have a question from... Uh, both BB and Oreo Jellyfish were asking about uh, what was your favorite episode to work on and why? Oh, probably the uh, first one, the, um, uh, the co- confidential one. Uh, Jimmy Class Confidential. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I did a lot of work on that one, so I, and it, I did it pretty pretty close. Okay. Yeah, there was no, there was no uh, panels that were, uh, except, except for the panels were... Um, Ginger goes to Mace's house and Mace is doing the pool. She's she's um, getting this stuff out of the pool. And uh, it was nighttime and it, and uh, it was it was a shot outside of the pool, inside the pool, looking up at Macy. And uh, and again, um, I tried to get it where it was still like um, Macy was still like. Um, like in like in I would talk. Um, in the first part, where um, they had to go downstairs, they have to go down, and they see the uh, teacher in in the, in her, in her, in her uh, office, and they had to go down the hall, dark hallway. Yeah. And they and they had to pass all, all those mirrors and stuff. Mm-hmm. And Almeida was look at looking at her looking at herself, and another thing she had to look at herself in the pool, pool too. And uh, it, it was just a lot of things where Mace had to look at herself while, while she was. And she was, and the pool was so really, um, it was really wavy, you know, on it. And um, so she had to, uh, she couldn't grasp herself yet. Oh, um, yeah, that, that's, actually, that's actually a really good scene, absolutely. Uh, we have two questions from Norbert, who's asking, um, Hey, Alan, were there any episodes or scenes you storyboarded when you added something into the storyboard that wasn't in the script? Um, well, I, I just talked about the thing where Mace is kind of looking at herself always in the, in the, uh, I was, um, and always adding that stuff in there in the part where, um, I, I don't think they, uh, we had to, they were looking inside and looking in, um, and we're, we're in Mace's house, Mace's house a little bit later. And, uh, we had to look through, look through all these dumb, um, books. I know, I don't know about you, but. When I was real little, and uh, they had books where they had clear pages, but they had um, books of uh, intestines, and they had books on uh, bloodstream, and, and it was all pages, clear pages. And when you put them all down, and you had a skin on it, take the skin off, and the muscles, and take the muscles off, and the bones, and take the bones off, and the heart, and the uh, stuff like that. So I remember, remember those books on it, and so Mesa stood up. And as she stood up, she was looking at this book, and and that's she had to look at a page, and it was all clear. And I said for whatever I forget what the which one which one they, um, I had in there, but um, so it, it just little little stuff like that, you know, throughout throughout the whole whole series, putting putting stuff of my life in there, you know. Yes. Uh, a lot of the a lot of the people who we've interviewed pretty much said the exact same thing. They would put in little snippets of what was going on through their lives into the show. Yeah, yeah, that was very cool. Uh, his uh, last question was: um, Were there any other story? Were there storyboards that you had to redraw because the writer or director pictured the scene looking different from the way you drew it? Oh. Um... Well, as far as um, um, Mark originally goes, um, the way he described it, I pretty pretty much follow the way he describes it, and uh, which whatever which way um, he saw the, um, you know, she she's thinking a lot. She goes. How how is it? To, and we look we look up through the, through the um, key page, the keys and the board. We, we we follow the keys down. Then we find their their strings. Um, I think that I think that was my idea, but 
could be mistaken on it. So. Okay. Yeah. Um. I think those are that's it for the questions. So, uh, do you have any final words to say about um your um about your memories of As Told by Ginger working on it, the legacy as a whole? What are your thoughts on it? Well, I, um, I must say I, I was um. I was pretty much into myself, I and mean, I I took the train into work because my car would they took my car away and oh. uh, and I didn't I didn't you know I just didn't know what to do and so I remembered them take take a train into work and uh, get off the train and then um, that was a whole whole other experience by itself but uh um so. Uh, Yeah, just um, and also I had having seizures constantly, seizures, and hoping helping one didn't didn't um, get me in the train some while and um, and um, so uh, um, yeah, that was because I, I was having seizures constantly and uh, um. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't know whether or not I was gonna. I was going to, uh, um, you know, I, I could have died. I could have died when those had had the seizures. But now, if if you know, so I'm I'm paralyzed in the right side of the body. A little bit paralyzed. I'm very sorry to hear that. Yeah, yeah, and um, so now they they took the, the seizures and they and they they um, wrapped it up. And the uh, I I don't, I don't I haven't had a seizure in eleven years on it. Well, that's so, good. I'm I'm really happy. Congratulations. Yeah. But yeah, the thing about walking to work through Hollywood like that was a really great. Um, it was one thing with there was a black guy, and um, I don't know. He was just he kept following me, kept following me to, the, to the, where I look, where I worked at, you know. And, um, so. <laughs> All right. Well, um, that's a very interesting story. Thank you so much for sharing that, Alan. Yeah. All right. Uh, do you have any um, uh, upcoming projects, or do you like to plug anything or self promote anything that you're doing right now? Um. Well, I whether or not Animaniacs is going to go, they Tom Ruger and those guys know about it. You know. So um, I might go down there to uh, out, uh, to uh, whatever Burbank they had Burbank with Wonder of the in Burbank, possibly. Yeah, and uh, down there to uh, work on a show, but I don't know yet. So okay, well that's great. Uh, thank you so much for coming on by, Alan. Really do appreciate it. All right, thanks. Thanks. All right, uh, let us know in the comments below about um, your favorite episodes that Alan worked on and uh, if you're, um, or if you um, want to talk about the other stuff that Alan uh, has worked on, such as Animaniacs, and hopefully he'll be back uh, for the next, uh, for the new reboot. So thank you so much for listening, everybody. Uh, we have one more interview coming, and uh, for those who have been tuning in, you already know who it is, and it's a very special one. Hope to see you around soon, and take care.